Boy, you look good, boy. But the box seven here, boy. See that? You don't look good, boy. See that? Look over this up. And now water, boy. Water for days, boy. Water for days, boy. Yeah, man, I hit, man. See that? See that? Say it, man. Water for days. Yeah, man. See that? Man, I'm going to move out. A joke thing, yeah? Look over this up. Boy, this look good. We need proper genius. Box seven here. Box seven here, live. You don't look good. All them cookies. See that? We can't wash out their yard. A joke thing. You don't look good, boy. You don't look good. Boy, oh boy, people not afraid of ringworm and other types of viral disease. <laughs> yeah, I know, and then you have to sad for Jamaica because of so much money it makes. But look at the poor infrastructure. Anyway, people, boom, viewers, subscribers, back again with these quick updates because trust, if it's not foreign from King Mix Up, it's not credible. I keep on telling you that you don't know the things that people. It's up on itself on that Monday, yeah, you know, but you know my style already one bag of one in the what? And I gotta give you these daily updates from the people in the see and don't see on the screen at this given time. And now in breaking news, Vibes Cartel fans are speculating that his freedom can be any day now. You see me, I say, and this is after Lisa Evers from Fox 5 News posted this picture of the world boss on her Instagram page alongside with this caption. It said, hashtag Lisa Everest exclusive, get ready, a big change on the way for Vibes Cartel. See my report Tuesday night, 9 27 22. That's the date, of course, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Hashtag Fox 5 News. And why? And all of them foolishness and watch funny thing, you know what I mean? So, people, she said, get ready, a big change is underway. So, we know that Vibes Cartel already stopped bleaching. You know what I mean? This can be anything, you know. It could mean that he's going to get his freedom and then win his appeal. Or it can mean that he's a turn, or, you know, he's a Christian and believe in Jesus Christ. It may have some people putting out a comment section when they think of this message that Lisa put. You know what I mean? And see if when I get the answer right tomorrow night. You feel me? Yeah, let's proceed. Okay, people, Dance Our Queen Spice is back at it again in other headlines with an emancipated situation. Yes, as you can tell by the headlines, you already know. What we're about to discuss is it may say and trust i am just a messenger please do not crucify me because it's the best is them laughing at spices emancipated situation yes because she's no longer entangled with rasta and um nicholas but you know how it goes with these celebrity relationship when they split you know everybody is still family so the fans them is keeping tabs of wagwan from one at a guan and they're saying that nicholas i get trick yes as you can see right here from the sender that the girl trick him you know what i mean and he will tie you up <laughs> so she said to check out her page she not stopped talk about him you see me i said so i went and checked out the page and i seen so i ran on her page and checked out a few videos that she was referencing to nicholas and i sported i mean spotted one where they was praying together and they said we made a pact with God in the beginning of our relationship and today we still pray together. We've been praying as a couple every morning and every night. I pray in the mornings, he prays at night. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Also, also showing some messages, um, what's up messages between the two. You know what I mean? And things and things. So, boy, oh boy, oh boy, people. I am just a messenger, please don't crucify me. As you can see, the people them insisted that I needed to put this one out and look upon this tape, but girl, him go pick up. You know what I mean? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. The girl looked beautiful to me, but anyway, people put out a comment section where they think about what the sender had to say. You know what I mean? Both Spice is single, but Nicholas finds his flame. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Again, people, um, you can't be really mad with this sender for keeping up with these celebrities. You know what I mean? They introduced them to us and them, I don't want to say dump them, but you know, them done with them. You know what I mean? And I expect the fans them to be done too. SMLC. Like Spice says, she no business about Rasta and she no business about that. You feel me? Yeah, let's proceed. Video. Little Miss Remix video was out. They they restricted my busy O. 
and y'all already know why. Go and click on it and see what happens, okay? They giving out, they've been posting uh, 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 a bunch of fake stats, all that. <laughs> so let me go and prepare for Queen Ray Z.O., okay? Stay fucking tuned, okay? Because there's a lot to cover. Okay, bye. And she wasn't done yet, people, because she went to her Instagram page and showed the emails that YouTube sent her, you know, with the age restriction and all of these things. And she insinuating that they're working with another rapper to slow her views down. But anyway, she said, imagine this. They restricted my effing video, but have things a million effing times worse on their bogus effing platform. This is what they do to keep you from winning while doing ads for other people and posting fake effing stats. Because the same people who run YouTube are in bed with a certain record label and management company. Eso to no matter, big pum pum. Liar, better not be you. Is it me? And she also um said, um, like I said earlier, this was done to stop us from getting a lot of views in the first 24 hours. The duds at my label allow people to use my videos all the time to promote weak-ish, but said we can't buy promo for my videos at YouTube, at YouTube Music. It's time y'all yeah, tell the people that you're in bed with a whole record label and management company. How long have y'all been playing the numbers game to lie and pretend people are doing good when they are not? How much ad space did these duds purchase to be promoted on my channel in the last five years at Look Up Miss Remix? And I'm not gonna lie, when I went on Nikki's Vivo channel and I seen that the video has been up for 18 hours and it haven't hit a million, I'm like, <laughs> oh, well, I'll go on from one not to go on. But after watching Nikki's video, guess what video popped up? A Glorilla and Cardi B tomorrow too which was dropped a few days ago and is well almost close to 10 million so you know honestly i watched um the video pretty look amiss and honestly it was kind of g-rated you know what i mean it wasn't x-rated like hardcore dancer style even though some daggerings and slamming said aguan you know but hey, it is what it is i'm just giving an update what well, aguan from what has aguan but big up yourself Nicki minaj and big up yourself skang you see me yeah let's proceed Okay, I have an update on, you know, for, um, on this Lee Gates situation, people. You see me, I said, I'm going to tell you what the police is saying, and then I'm going to give you my opinion on the matters, you feel me? Well, the police is saying it's an ongoing gang feud that is behind the gun attack um, that claimed the life of, you know, popular blogger Lee Gates TV in Clarendon Saturday night. He was only 36 years old, you see me, I said, and his name was Leon McNeil. You know what I mean? But on the red, you know, his YouTube names and things and things. But Gates, who was killed by unknown assailants at a party in Hayes in the parish, was among three men who were killed in two separate gun attacks on Saturday. And the information reaching the streets is that around 8.55 p.m., a group of men approached McNeil and opened fire upon him at the event. Another patron was also injured during the gunfire. You see me? And now, many social media users believe that he was shot dead because of comments he made about a double murder in Portland Cottage in a parish a few hours earlier. And the double murder, Derek Red Fox Matthews, 39, a taxi driver from, you know, Wildman Town, Portland Cottage, and Michael Newland, 47, of Board Villa, Lionel Town, in Clarendon, were shot dead in Portland Cottage on the main road. Um... The Lionel Town Police said that around 410, Matthews was transporting residents, including Newland, um, in his public passenger vehicle upon reaching a section of Portland Cottage Main Road, and he pulled over to let all the passengers them. It is alleged that the same passenger brandished a firearm and opened fire at the vehicle before fleeing the scene. The police were summoned, and on arrival, both men, were seen with multiple gunshot wounds. They were taken to the hospital where they were pronounced dead. But police sources say that McNeil, who operate Lee Gates TV, might have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. According to the lawmen, an ongoing feud between the men from the area is believed to be what caused the attack at the party where McNeil and other men were shot. 
McNeil was a prominent in covering the Cook of Peace Clarendon murders of the five, including a woman and her four children last June. Okay, people, here's my take on the situation. Uh, the police said it's an ongoing feud and, you know, homeboy was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. So if I saw the thing go down, well, I just saw it go. But earlier in the article, it said that a group of men approached McNeil and opened fire upon him at the event. And another patron was also injured. So maybe the other patron was an, a target. But the way how the article stated that a group of men approached McNeil and opened fire, it kind of led into the comments he made about the double murder that took place. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what he said, but... You bad man or gunman, whatever they're calling themselves, when they can't just be attacking reporters, you know, you can't be attacking journalists. You feel what I'm saying? They're there to do their job and report on things, what's going on in other community. You see me? I say so. A joke thing that, you know what I mean? If they really took his life because of comments made, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo. This is why when there's war going around, like in Russia, Ukraine, etc., etc., journalists are off limits. You know what I mean? Snipers are not allowed to shoot journalists, etc., etc. So, I mean, on a whole, on a bad man in Jamaica, and I forget the thing in that order, you know, you see me? I say. But that's just my personal opinion on the matters, you see me? Yeah, let's proceed. And now Ivani is back again in the headline, but the story is not really about her. But um, I think I will give an update on Ivani still real quick. Well, we know that she was supposed to return to court in September to see the judge because, you know, the judge told her to come back with a lawyer. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I don't think she will receive all of the GoFundMe money for that. Um, so I don't know how her case is going to go. You see what I'm saying? Because there's only a few days left in September. You see me? So, still praying for the best. You see me? I say. But nevertheless, people. Ivan, your friend, get beat up. You see me? I say. And we're talking about Natty Ann. You see me? As you can see, the send this. Uh, them beat up Natty Ann. I, Natty, Ivan, his friend. And I asked, where's the video? Because, you know, I like to verify things. But the person said, them are way upon it. But it happened in NYC. And them say, them get hit in the head. You know what I mean? With a battle. LOL. Well, Natty Ann insists that she did not fight because she was never in New York. In fact, she was in Florida at the same time. You feel me? But like I said, people, I'm just a messenger. But I will post this message to clear things up. Well, after I posted this message, the original sender hit me back. I say, lie. Natty Attell cause the girl used the bottle hit her in the head at Stefan's house. Now the people them is name drop and you see me I say in NYC she told lie and a girl that was there tell her. You feel me? And I'm not gonna lie to you people. This is one sender that always got their receipts. You feel me? So I have nothing uh I don't know the choice but to believe her, you know. But like Natty Ann said she wasn't there, you feel what I'm saying? Jano, Jano, people, I know this review was all over the place. You know, organized and all that stuff. This is why you have to watch them in entirety. You see me, I said, freestyle, we have freestyle, and you don't want to miss a thing from the king.